channel. I'm so happy to have you here. So one summer trend that I've just been loving are the big floppy beach hats with cute writing and cute phrases on it. Kind of like this one. So today I wanted to bring you guys a DIY on how you can make a hat just like this without breaking the bank. It's super cute, super easy. It'll only take you a couple hours. You can hit the beach in no time. In order to do so, you'll need a big floppy plain hat. You'll need some ribbon and a roll of sequins all of the links which I have put in the description box below. Then you'll just need a couple of household crafting items, some scissors, some glue, maybe some sketching paper, pen or pencil, and that should be about it. So let's get crafting. So begin by gathering your materials together. I've included a full list of the materials in the description box below. You can also iron out your hat to get rid of any of the creases that occurred during shipping and trim any stray threads that might be coming loose. Next, place your hat on the work surface and lay a few pieces of paper on the brim, roughly taping them together at the edges. Then, trim the excess paper away. Using this newly made template, sketch out the words or phrases of your choice, keeping in mind that this paper is the approximate size of your hat's brim. The fabric of the hat is difficult to write on, so the sheet of paper helps you to write and erase as many times as you need. I use the phrase hello sunshine, but a few other cute ones were beach hair, don't care, vacation mode on, or you can even use your name or greetings from and include your favorite vacation destination. And if you need help with your handwriting, try Googling handwritten fonts for some inspiration. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can always make changes later. So once you're happy with your phrase, trace over it with a dark marker or a sharpie. Next, place your template on the brim of your hat where you want the letters to go. Roll out a good amount of the sequin string and lay it over the first stroke of the first letter. In essence, tracing over the letter with the sequins. Then trim away the excess, lay it over again, Lightly holding the sequins in place over the template, use your other hand to swiftly pull the template out from between the sequins and the hat. Then you'll simply glue the sequins down. I like using the Elmer's glue because it doesn't dry instantly, nor is it visible once it dries, so it gives you the freedom to move your sequins around a bit to get them placed exactly where you want. So continue the process by tracing the next stroke, cutting the sequins again, and gluing it down. swab to clean up any excess glue. Even though it will dry clear, you could clean it up if you have a thicker line left over. You'll notice I only actually placed the template physically on the hat for the first part of the H. Once I had the first letter down, I knew where I was putting the next letters, so I only used it to trace over the size of the string. I also found it easier to use a mechanical pencil tip instead of my fingers to straighten the sequins. My fingers were a bit clumsy, they seemed to get sticky with the glue, and they actually pulled the sequins off a little bit, whereas the pencil was thin enough to be very precise.
Once your phrase is finished, shake off any excess sequins from the hat. In the final set of steps, we'll add a cute ribbon bow to give your beach hat a chic, finishing touch. You can skip this if you want. I think the bow is perfect. It's so cute. So what you'll do is grab your ribbon and wrap it loosely around the inner edge of your hat, the area where you put your head. I'm not sure if that has a name or not. Then you cut the ribbon where it meets, allowing an inch or two of overlap space in order to help you glue it together. Then lay the ribbon flat on your workspace and apply the glue to its entire length. Wrap the ribbon around the middle section of the hat, put one hand inside the beach hat to apply pressure outwards and make it stick. Next, we will create the bow. Cut two lengths of ribbon, approximately 13 to 16 inches long, depending upon how large you prefer your bow to be. Make sure to trim the edges of the ribbon at a 45 degree angle. Then, lay one of the ribbons flat, horizontally on your workspace and bring both ends toward each other. Cross one end over the other. This creates one half or one loop of a bow. Picture the shape of the ribbon stickers that people use as bumper stickers for their cars. Then you glue the ribbon together at the center, repeat the process with the other ribbon, and then glue both of the middles together. Then cut one more piece of ribbon, this one only a few inches long, apply glue to the entire length, wrap it around the glued center portion of the ribbons again, and clamp it together with your fingers until it holds. Once the bow is holding together on its own, apply glue to the back of the center of this wrap and press it firmly to the back of your hat. You can use a chip clip to clamp it together so that it dries properly. I eventually took the chip clip out and put a, a glass of water against it so that it would increase my hat. After about an hour of drying time, your beach hat should be fully dried and ready to wear. video I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I just love my hat I can't wait to hit the beach more so that I can wear it take some photos in it I think it's super cute and it's definitely gonna be a summer staple for me so if you enjoyed the video please leave me a comment below even feel free to subscribe if you want to see what I have coming up next like I mentioned I did put a link in the description box to all the materials and the instructions for this tutorial so you can feel free to check that out as well anyways I enjoyed talking to you guys today I'm about to hit the beach <laughs>